Hello everyone. So the topic today which we are going to discuss is J operator and its significance. Okay. So first of all, we will try to understand what is J operator and then later on we will study the its significance. Now, if we uh, if we say that what is J operator, then it is a mathematical operator. Its value is under root minus one. It's an imaginary quantity. Okay. And if it is multiplied by any vector quantity, it rotates that quantity into anti-clockwise direction by 90 degree. So I will write it. If it is multiplied with any vector, it rotates that into anti clockwise direction by 90 degree and to understand that let's take one example here let us say we have a vector e okay and it is represented as just like that so this is our simple e vector now if we multiply this e vector by a uh, operator j then it's a new vector and that vector will be represented as like that let us say this was our e vector and it is rotated by 90 degree by applying the j operator so this is our j e vector now again if it is multiplied by j operator it will be rotated again so and it will be j square e vector if again the same thing is being done it will be j cube e vector and if again it is multiplied by one more j uh, operator so it will be j4 e vector and it will be equal to the initial vector that is e vector because it is rotated by 360 degree so basically this of the j, j operator is not changing the magnitude it is just changing the direction of it it is rotating it this vector nothing else it is doing so this is our j operator and how it is uh, when it is applied on a vector quantity this is how it works now we will try to understand the significance of it so the significance of a j operator is quite a much because we quite oftenly you know encounter this operator in our ac circuits or machines or power system so it is almost everywhere used in electrical engineering so we will try to understand its significance and why it is so much of importance here as we all know that impedance is not a you know a, a registered quant a registered quantity it's a complex quantity okay and <coughs> so in order to plot this we will going to need the j operators working principle okay if you write the impedance as we know that it's x plus jy okay or we can say that it's r plus jx so it is the resistance and it is the <coughs> reactance okay so if you have to plot the impedance total impedance so it will be r and plus jx rotated by 90 degree and this will give us the complete impedance this is also called as the impedance triangle impedance triangle okay as we know that when the current passes through the capacitor or inductor 
it lacks or leads depending on the situation what is being used into the circuit and no circuit is a pure resistive circuit it's a mix of resistances uh, capacitance or inductors okay so there is always a factor that is in which case the current will be leading or lagging the voltage so how do we represent that mathematically so in order to represent that lagging or leading effect mathematically we use the j operator as we know that let me just take one example here as the current passes through an inductor it lags the voltage okay let us say or let me take this as a ac source okay this is v and this is our i this is our l so in that case for ideal inductor the current that is i will lag the voltage that is v by 90 degree okay this is something we know but how do we represent this by in a mathematical form in order to draw the phasors or all other things to do all the other calculations so here comes the j operator into the picture it basically <coughs> helps us into denoting all these quantities when the current is lagging or leading then we use the j operator in order to represent it mathematically so this is the significance of it and it is almost everywhere used while drawing the phasors for the transformers or in machines it is almost everywhere used okay so this is for in the significance section of j operator if you like this video please do share it and please do comment if you have any doubt thank you so much